22. Mary 22. Mary 22. <laughs> Don't you ruin my, um... Oh, yeah. And what has 2022 bought me? The same gift as 2021, incredible shoulder pain. <laughs> so I'm sat in the desk chair. I feel like to pull out and yeah, it's a nightmare to get out, but yeah. And it was well dusty, just like mine. <laughs> anyway. We're back. So we might be a bit quieter, maybe that's something you should check. Also, the volume on this thing is a bit too loud for me. A bit too loud for you as well, it's like that. A bit so. too loud for me, because I'm very close. Is that better? Yeah, obviously. I'll let you know when we start the Oh, mm -hmm. there's a letter. I don't know who it's from. Probably Mary. Okay, all the supplies. White is good, yeah? White's good, yeah. Red's bad. Gold is overstocked. Mm -hmm. I feel like the gold looks like yellow. Gold, yellow, same thing, isn't it? So is the food that might not be full because it's quite early in the morning. What time is it? I don't think that's what we're doing. Didn't Dutch tell you to take a look out? What a... He brought us to my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Ah, uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tilly's wanting something, but I don't know where we find it. She's got a little mark on her. I don't know if it looks like. Um... Uh, Sa Sadie wants a harmonica. Yeah. Jack wants his book. There's a few of them that want stuff. I don't think we've done it in this mission, but I know Karen wants a pen, but I don't think we'd. I don't think she's asked us for it. Yeah, so it's it's My dear Arthur, yeah. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. Everybody's he and Daddy are still Jane. arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Well, that's oh, she Arthur. Around. Yeah. I know it is well, wrong to in. ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Just have a look at Arthur. See if we need to if we go in some way. His bitch beard is a bit bushy, but it's not like too bad. Ooh, arrows, yes, Arthur's arrows. Gotcha, yeah. Can't take this with the pistols. Yeah, I think these pistols are just. Oh well. Might give them that, um, 247. Yeah. All right there, Pearson. It goes up very quickly. Yeah.
We don't need to restock anything though. No. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. I don't like that. Oh, so all the weapons in my room? Yep. Oh. Delicioso. Four hundred and fifty seven. Um. Do we, we have, no, we do have a boat here, don't we? No, we don't. Do we have a river, sorry? There is some water near, yeah. Why not? We didn't leave it a swamp. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Sometimes it's not a river, so the boats doesn't really make sense. Mm. I haven't taken any money, though. Oh, no, I have. <laughs> that's everything as well. Right, I'm gonna do Mary's control. Mm. Oh, should we go see what they want? Mm, she wants a necklace or something. There's an item hey. left. But okay, it, if you look, it, it was a while ago. If you look in the um. Oh, there is food. Give a quest. Ah. Found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. You're giving us something. Yeah. Okay. Eat, 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 eat. Stew. Oh, I was like, no, I'm not rich, but... Yeah, so, have a look. Um, have you used to tell us about that? Press start. Look on player. And then look at Arthur. Underweight. Oh my gosh. Core drain rate. So, 100%. So, it goes quick. So let's eat. Just eat, eat, eat. Um, can I put food on that? There's, there's loads of meat. You've got loads of meat in your inventory. In the satchel, I mean, so. Definitely. In the satchel? Yeah. Hold the. No, you got to hold the left, 
left directional button. No, the no, no, the but on the D-pad. The other, the other way, yeah. yeah that you one, said but, left. Right. I mean, I meant right. Sorry. And then go along. You got. Yeah, got some meat there. And then go to press RB. Go along. Go along. Go along. Ingredients. Yeah. So you got all that meat to cook. Turn your inside camp. Would you? Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Oh. All right, Pierce. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Many thanks. Molly. Just in time, oh, Mr. Dude. Morgan. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Right, we're gold on everything. Take it easy with that stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a good thing for it. Oh. This mm -hmm. is taking it easy. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. I like loads of stuff right now. Maybe we'll go like go up to it. Maybe not fix it. Maybe we just go up to it. Oh, I should know better. Oh, it's all here. Oh, oh. I'll take them. I'll take them to the camp out of gold. Here, since we've got loads of meat, though, I don't know if they can just cut some stuff. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Oh, what are you doing? Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally going to kill us? You did. You want to jump from my back like you did last time, mate. <laughs> I'm so worried. <laughs> That's Kate. Good boy. Hey, boy. He's a lovely dog. Sorry, I'm like getting distracted. Right, so let's have a look at half an hour. Underweight still. still. Last place. So have, have a look to see how far, like, see if we can get, see what, how close you can get to the end. Like, if it gives you like, stats hey. on it. What do you mean? Go to player and go off uh, and press A. Right. Uh, and then go down to weight, undo it. Sticker, snatcher, or experience. We want to gain weight pretty quickly. Yeah. Don't eat them, um, <laughs> Let's get Let's get you cleaned up. Should we see how um that looks good? Yeah. Oh, that is fine. Physique. Finding health. Team, calm. Finish yeah. fine. Sorry, 
I feel like I, I took forever doing like absolutely nothing now. <laughs> Um, right. Oh my god, our bounty is 85. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have to pay that off. Why? They're gonna be coming for us for that. For £7.50. Oh, it was because of the graveyard thing, yeah. For £7.50, they don't bother. Yeah. There's an incident getting out of the graveyard. 85. It might be best to go to Rose. I'm going on the outside though. Still get caught. Still get my caught with um. Please. Mm. Yeah, just go go to Sandy. It's closer. Do. You know. Oh, you kind, mister. Oh, if you be so kind to take me to LeGras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is. LeGras. Hi. It's not close. Oh, okay. I'm from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No I didn't fitness, notice that sister. she was not on a horse. Just don't trust way. them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bucked, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, it's could come by with a rifle on him. I is no word of lie. Buffalo, she's not got a horse. Sure, it's the horse is the legs. problem. Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legrath? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you, but it was a long time. No fix, but I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I'd never leave my home. You won't call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no war, ain't no boss, man. Ain't no train gonna take that from me. We getting close, don't die on that. Uh, Prince Andrew has been there no witnesses to corroborate his claim that he was at Peter Express the night he was, um... Wouldn't his daughter be a witness? Uh, that was no, no witnesses. Okay, well, here's good. Peter Express at that time. Thank you, Mr. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Uh -huh. So long, Violet, that's coming. Yeah. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. There's probably a way to get get into get underneath on there. Again, right there. Right, so we're going to
I mean, there was a police officer there. Um, I do this all the time, I just remember that. Oh, there's something at the place I was for us. Oh, there's an exclamation mark. Hello, sir. You would give me a minute, please. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. What can I do for you? It's like there was a little thing you. Oh, that was a pay the bounty thing. Oh, was it? Yeah. I thought it was like um, you got mail. Thanks, partner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. 
Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, <clears throat> but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting <clears throat> better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. Right. Poor fellow. It all seems so mm -hmm. long ago and far away now. Will you help me oh, try to I save I'm Daddy? I don't know. I move my chair or something. Come along, then. You need to going? do lateral flows. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath ones you. Those only are apparently He's been less gambling and drinking and other yeah, things. I would. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? Because people have been saying he was saying going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur, he wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning do things off left and right, toast with your child, mixing Carl? with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Smells bad. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, That's we'll work it out. That is burnt. What kind of a state he's in? Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> you can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. <laughs> I know what's happening. Why? <laughs> My horse having shit Sid, over. 
just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. CY has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Control of vibrators. Mm -hmm. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. Oh. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, right. mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. No, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Sell some. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Huh? Sell the brooch. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, <laughs> how could you? Mary, so wait you here. Found your I'll go get the brooch. Hello, sir. Don't you hurt well. anyone, Arthur. <laughs> Hey! 
You, Ashton, hold her right there! God damn it! Let's go.
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. No. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. That's what I paid for it, wasn't it? Oh. There's no option. I wouldn't pay for it. Oh, good enough, Double. Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Remember me, boy? Remember. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Kill no one. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, my keys. <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I'm I'm Aldrich T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create <laughs> so, in this locality. As just start or not. Are you of in the a rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. 
I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Mate! Drunken everything. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> <laughs> and have loads of doggies with you. Dog doggies acceptable, babies not so much. Thank you. So draw your money, come see your honey in old San Dani. No, that's fine. Back in the freezer. Welcome in the freezer. That girl can sing. This is so good. Great, great seat. Really comfy seat. Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast. Any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansovino. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Stop it. Amazing. Whoa. Yep. She got fire. See 
You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. I like hot things too. Go. Yeah, well, I'm getting it actually. It's about time to eat them. So she was like cold drinks. Mm -hmm. All right. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Aww. Prepare for the yeah! body braziers of the Petite Flaneur in Gay Paris. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass well, of humanity right. with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Y'all see this? Not good. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Wait, of course. The trolley here? <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Do it. There is anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. I've got two grand right now. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got enough money to run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Done anything? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can give it to me, but I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything. You've all you've done is watch the oh, theatre yeah. performance. Well, oh, you just put your phone down to get your book. Yeah. You can do what you want. I'll do the Strauss one. Get it out of your way. I'll read you the oaks back, so it will have to write a thing. Um, do you understand, George? She says to George. He says nothing. We have to write a story, she tells him. Have you ever been to sea? The sea is a great expanse of water, he answers. It covers much of the earth's surface. <laughs> it's like he's like a, a Siri or something. Yeah. <laughs>
you please gotta help me. Some fellas going to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack there in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find Make the sure law. I'll do what I can. That's what I'm extreme. Go down by the shop of water to see that one white speed Apparently. So let's go and find her. Oh, it's, I'm going the same way as anyway, so I've just got some water from Strauss, so. Let's finish this shit there. Yep. Let's go! These guys are going to be gate of food. No, no, no. And their heads. And... I mean, they didn't have any brains anyway. Just one more. Don't take that stuff. There's a cigarette card somewhere. Oh, is that it now? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Where's it said then? Do, do you mind, please? I can't rest if I'm looking at him. Hey, now you quit that now, you hear? There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horus found another guardian angel like you. Your Horus is the one that found him. Oh, thank found... you again. You're my guardian angel. Your Horus is the one that found me. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but... Uh, 
So far, we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Every Mr. Time Morgan, I say something, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Oh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, his ear just fell off. Oh, that's what that is. This is ear. Oh, oh. <laughs> my god. He's some sort of like <coughs> robot. <laughs> oh, castle rustling some cattle as well. Jesus. I might do a coat job for his Lenny. Alright, so I might do the I might go and do this debtor. And then do you wanna do a coat job for I'm going to do the Come on, now, boy. Yeah. I'm going to do this debtor. The money for the debtor. The debtor. Now I'm going to go and do... Go and do a coat robbery. Plenty. And then you can do the high damage. Sound good? Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Yeah. <clears throat> oh no, I think I've been here before, haven't I? It was the dad and the son, or I should just punch the dad and the son at the end of the game. Is it this one then? Yeah, it's right. Yeah, because when I went back later, he's, um... Yeah, look, look, <laughs> back cabinet's all open. Yeah. 
Don't smoke kids. But don't do some like cards anymore. This is probably why. Well it's like you know how you are with your football cards? Yeah. It's like that, you have to get them all, don't you? Yeah. And um another thing is um encourage people to smoke. They're like, Oh, you wanna get all these cool cards? Well you have to smoke like fifty a day to get some. Yeah. It's incredibly bad habits. Yeah, don't smoke kids. Don't smoke? No, it's awful. Don't do drugs with kids. No. It's not worth it. Oh, Ow. That's the guy who I just... Got the debt off. Oh. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Ah. yeah. Just, yeah, I was going to say pizzas. So what day is it? It's Saturday. So. Saturday, Sunday. And I would like to go shopping on Monday. So we've got pizza, jack of potatoes and pie. We'll shop for you. Yeah, be less reduced hours. But you can't go out to Monday. Yeah, I'm not sure me. <laughs> what is this? Hey, get yourself out of there. Oh, don't mind me. All you right. goddamn idiot. Well, what have we got here? I'll shoot you dead before. <laughs> he didn't even finish his sentence. I'll shoot you dead before you. No. I mean, I've got enough for four more meals, but I need sausages for a fire. That's in the problem. Maybe I'll buy. Um... How about on yeah. Monday I buy. Or on Sunday or something, I'll go and buy some sausages and we can have them. Um, like, a fire for the meal. Yeah! One last blowout before we go back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Well, can't sit here forever. That Harry Potter reunion that's on tonight, isn't it? You know the rules. All right, simmer down. Oh! Can you play him? You got me too. Oh, yeah, it's my time. Well, we sent it to her, so yeah. Let's see if there's. Um. Oh, 
turn the tap off and on. Still on the way. Oh. How are we supposed to do, um, what? put on weight then if like, we can only have one stew a day? Yeah. Eat other stuff. I'm not going to have loads of biscuits in there. Cattle rustling, what I'm calling. Oh, is it morning already? Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. And Sometimes at least. Her I did say Thank you. Up I don't garden, think so, so scared it would soil. Yeah. I am with old Phoenix when What'd you mean? Oh, some silly romance. Aren't all romances silly? Yes. And this one's particularly silly. I know you and Karen laugh at me for reading this stuff. Of course we do. But then we read them ourselves. Do you? Sometimes. What is it about this nonsense? I don't know. It makes you feel happy, even as it's making you feel sad oh, and driving you mad for being so stupid. Oh, no. Oh, and this one's Mr. Particularly, Morgan. And particularly idiotic. I thought it was Karen, though. Lord, and a princess who was raised as a peasant. Noble blood shines through. <laughs> Good grief. I know. Who's that with Can I read it? Once you're done? Of course. Just don't tell Karen. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. No, that. Yeah. Who is she? <laughs> She's a little bit. <clears throat> find after. Oh, is, oh, I thought it was Karen who find after. Oh, it's just coffee. This is probably just doing, you know, PC. 
Drink, 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 chug, 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 chug. Oh, quiet, Trelawney. All right there, Molly. Oh. Oh, Arthur. I know what you're thinking. I ain't thinking much. Drunken idiot, that's what you're thinking. I got bigger problems to worry about. Have you, Arthur? Have you? That's nice. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. But, Karen, don't do this to yourself. Please. You got a choice. Oh. Sure. I got a choice. That's nice. Yeah, piss is just doing stew now, I think, right? Okay, here we go. Why is that that? Okay, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, but we need to do stew. You're a disgrace. A disgrace. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get yourself cleaned up. Come on. Pathetic. You, a man of the cloth. Away with you. Who's here? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, yeah. if I am being mm -hmm. honest. I used to quite often. There could be uh, uh, No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm I afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions oh. after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I love that top hat on um, That's away, please, so gentlemen. extra. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful. Look this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done.
And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and the letters to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble. And steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. Don't play stupid. Bill. Go make us some new friends. I can find that old cornwall. What's his name? Nope. Good evening. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? A small Camilla McClare, wherever did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh, you. <laughs> you oh. How's the show? I heard you went. Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine now. Would you like tickets? What? And you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, 
I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, I'll say you and me cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Yeah, some of the language is... Come it's on, sleep it off. off. Yeah. Just... I'm tired. Oh. Sit down. It's not Thank acceptable God, yeah. now, definitely not. Count to a thousand. But like back in the wars. So it's just like I'm just there to just try and make it historically accurate and give you a sense. Thank you, sir. Yeah. My pleasure. Where we've All come from and how much I hope we've you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine. I mean, that's and how the city I see is it. horribly in Some bad, but we can still put on a good show. Like, you know, Do you know every Miller? Hello. Rider? Yeah, we exactly. We seem to have another deranged drunkard on but our hands. Shall we? Anyone with a, you know, oh, brain oh, knows oh, that oh, this is what we were like fantastic. back then, and it wasn't acceptable. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, please. please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Got, um, uh, he shouted down the telephone yeah. for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is yeah. a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very I'm sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Yeah. Let me enjoy yeah. the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Oh, I found these undetectable ones a bit easier. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, yes, Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
Bleacher's Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. <laughs> I love that. Extremely confidential. Maybe we could order something. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Oh, okay. Yeah, what did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I we're think done. I found out how we can grab some of the we're done, yeah. big the bank. Right, right, Real right, money, right. but not yet. A city a bank? Maybe. And a stuff one. Right, right, right. If we're gonna yeah. leave... Right, right. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, Unless you and I spoke have... to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Pizza Here helping the lunch. Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too. Yeah, the mayor. Tea. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost I'm heading home. An idea. I don't Where is home? Go. I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Pizza for lunch? Yeah. I'm done. Let me have Jacket take it today and then. Um, Stranger, American father. Oh, here we go. Oh. There's that Trelawney. Yep, yeah, Trelawney. Oh, riverboats. Yeah. What? You can probably go in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's walking around in her clothes. 
You okay, old man? I'm sure. <laughs> just dandy. Partner. Just oh, you can't do anything while they're talking. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I live to see another day. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're trapping me to deceive. Oh, hey, Susan, I'm trying to eat. No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Morning. You okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in town. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Oh, dear. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure thing. Oh, I need to put the debt over thing in. Oh, there she is. Good morning. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, oh, he ain't that bad. Okay, Arthur. Did you put the debt in the thingy? Um. Can do it again, try. Well, I'm going to take the food and take some bricks around. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now.
going past the old abandoned church. Oh. Mr. Black and Mr. Yeah, well, White. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Yeah. Come on. See what I mean? Tall, you, you lily liver. No. <laughs> uh, you two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing, Starvin? <laughs> they got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Jesus do God. your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Right, nice fella. The yeah, you love too. nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Oh, there's a Sadie Adler mission as well. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, I might do this and the bounty in road and then... Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Ah, this is what you... I'll clean your... This is what you wanted? You want it. the law. No. Who's talking now, huh? I didn't mean to loot him. I mean, I didn't lose me. I did any honor for it. Yeah. Oh, I love this mission. It's a little hard to find. Yeah. Oh, no, there's one over here and a guy. There's a guy that takes it yeah. and you've got to get it off him. But I don't know how to get it off him best. I'll try to get on the horse with time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna need that poster off you. Give it up. That ever worked before? Posters. Hey! Hey! Oh no, you don't. Get this off of me! Let me hold tie him as well. Hmm? You're done for, bastard! bastard. Oh, well, I... The hell you doing? Oh. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Like the right now, oh, stop! Or I'll kill you! It's free I witnesses. Swear. I think we must have a case of misunderstanding. Get away from me! Either you want to get shot. Heavens above! I forget it. Just get out of here. You two looking to get killed? I am the soul of discretion. There's one over there. Oh, he's upstairs. Get out of here, people. There's another one. And forget there. this ever oh, happened. Are you insane? Oh, yeah. You moved. I think I've 
surrender to the glory. Oh, come on. Damn you for that! I got you! Sweet. Okay! Don't you move a muscle! Damn it! You're coming to jail right this minute! Save some shit, guys. Crime don't pay around here. Yeah. I probably could have handled that better, but at least he didn't die. Or get a bigger bounty. All the bad. <laughs> probably could handle that better, though. Although, if that guy hadn't stabbed me. I think me, that's the case for most of the things that you do. Yeah. Although, if that guy hadn't stabbed me, I think it'd been alright. Mm. I wouldn't have had to knock him out. I could have just taken a bounty pipe or post to an untied the bounty hunter bloke. Hey, how We're you looking doing for there, some Martin. escapees? Got yeah. posters all over town if you'd like to help. Yeah, I know there's te Just minding my business. I know you're looking for escapees. I'm, I'm taking their posters down. Look at that, my hat. There's one inside the. Yeah, this is the last one. Recess is over. Stage patch I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to do stage patch or the bounty. Stage patch or the bounty. Hey, I'm here at the sheriff's iron bar. Well. Yeah, the bounty patch is in Give these bounty posters to him, and I'm gonna do the bounty, and then you can do the same. Sounds good. Okay. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you? Killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to say. Well. Good job they're not in uh, court enough. Yeah. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. That's that. He had it coming. Uh, he was dead before I saw him, and he had to come in really with him. <laughs> no. <laughs> he had it coming. Ah, something else. Oh, it's this We've guy. Had quite enough of your kind here. Oh, so yeah. That one up then, are you? It's a that decent one. bounty. This guy. I happen to know that feller is far or trying to uh, up by Me? Oh, no. He's a bad egg. Sorry, you must today. have me confused. I've seen him coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Mark Johnson, the bounty. What I need to know? You gotta be wary of this one? Just the other day, he took his son out on the rails. He seemed nice enough. Yeah, seemed. When quite clearly he is not. Oh, it can be so confusing. Mm, interesting. What was I say? It seems nice enough when clearly he's not. Hello. I know what one this is anyway. Oh, Um, trust to run away with you, run away from you. Well, not run away from you, get home. Back to work. Let's go, boy. Yeah. 
No, I don't want to go on social club. Go away. It's a Sadie mission. The Horseman, Apocalypse. Oh, is this where she goes on a revenge tour? It might be that one, Chloe. Oh, is that one? I love Sadie. She's such a badass. No, so in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? Oh, a very someone. He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. There's not actually any people there apart from... No, just preaching. Oh, here we go. Morning. Howdy. Your face looks familiar. Huh. Uh, a brave maybe man, I was undone by pride, Don't mind me. doomed to a life of sin and vice. Well, that guy is just watching. Let oh, no, us no, pray for is. this man, oh Father. Provide him mercy. Amen. Those were kind words, Father. Maybe. But what good are words? Yep. You take care. I don't know who it was, but there he is. Uh, probably one of my bounty targets. Get that thumb out of the thing. Oh, there's one made or something. Oh, cool. Okay, fella. Get this right. Here we go. Oh yeah. <gasps> You're here for your bounty. <gasps> Talk to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. I can't let you do that. I hope. Look what we got here. Mark Don't even care. Just wanted to say goodbye. Boy, you're the man now. You can't be soft no more. Just isn't your day, is it? I love you, Daddy. Quit that talk. Just be strong, boy. Yep. Here, come on. I ain't gonna let him say anything. I know exactly what he does, so I'm not gonna let him say, say goodbye. I don't think he'll give. Right on my horse. Get him out of there as soon as possible. As much as I can, I'm gonna hit him as well. Just, you real 
quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. See what I mean? That son of a bitch. You ain't going anywhere, punk. Snake. Oh no! <laughs> Got your neck broke prematurely. And I know exactly what's coming as well, so I'm getting prepared. We'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Um. No more gang. It's alright. Well, you're gonna be this is Rhodes. You're almost shot of gallows. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. <laughs> So long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a great. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. We all deserve second chances, every one of us. Shut it. You ran and you kept running. Is it Chloe's time? Chloe's time. Chloe's time. Something else oh. going up in the station in a little while. Keep an eye out. A few days later, you can watch. Um, yeah. When does that happen? What? For a few days. Save him from a hanging, but then he'll escape from something. Oh. Look out, boy! Whoa, whoa now! Can you do that now? I do one, um, one that stops. 
Actually, the oven might be ready. Do you want to put this yeah. in the oven? We've only got one pizza tray left. hearing the sounds of Ashley's distance gagging. Yeah. You're gagging. Oh, yeah. Who are you? It's Arthur! Yep. There we go. Take them off before you cook it. I asked you what you wanted, but that's the one you said you wanted. Just take them off while they're frozen. Good day, Mr. Morgan. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, oh, a few more like her, we can take over the whole world. Yeah. A few oh. more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the Dutch. trolley bus station. Where's the Mercedes signal then? I went this down Mercedes there. Starts off. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't yeah. never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave yeah, the planning to me. You'll ride with me. I was me. promised safety. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? It's Karen. It's Karen. Oh. What the hell have they done to me? I didn't realize oh, this was that yeah, mission. Sorry, line. guys. Should have Everybody had a warning. Take a copy. Our disco boys are coming. Oh, this is technically a safety mission. The turn of the Oh, I apologize for anyone who's not right about that.
You didn't retreat into Shady Bell. I did. I was there. I tried to get in, but it wouldn't let me in. It turned me around. Hmm. Not fair. Okay. I think so. So if you Except for Karen here. Yeah. Oh, Karen. Uh, oh God. Poor kid. I Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taken care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That oh, man God. can really oh. hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. Oh, we need to get moving away from here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we yeah, should yeah. start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Um, under my thingy. I 
he's supposed to the play you knows then wash your hands. We might have to go wash your hands if you ask. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> he saved my life and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely I understand. Four. That's what love is. On either side and then your nose ten circles. Oh my. Another morning. Go see. I might go do. What should we see? Oh, it's that. Show shut on me. I might go do that. Cause I don't want to do a big one because it's technically your turn. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go to the barbers and then. I'll go... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Four times on each side. Yeah. And then I think you have to circle it for 15 seconds. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Uh, I would just drop it in the gun. You have to, yeah, I mean, it's like two or four, can't remember. Drops, it'll tell you. I think it's two. Okay, I'm out. Okay, that's fine. I think if it comes back. What's the what's the thing? If you get two you days in a row, okay, boy. you can go out of isolation. So if it comes back positive today, I think you could probably yeah. ring your work and say, I've done it day six and I've not come out of isolation because I've had a positive result. Yeah, you're welcome. Well Oh yeah, it's New Year's Day, isn't it? Sorry, I forget. To be honest with you, I've lost track of the days. I know it's Saturday today, but I, didn't, I forgot it was New Year's Day. Hey mister, that's one nice looking horse you've got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. Not now, thanks. Alright, suit yourself. Have you seen what time it is? You need to do it. half an hour? Yeah. I'll... 39. We've never seen a positive lateral flow. <laughs> Close... Oh, well, the first time you got COVID, um, lateral flows, I don't think were a thing. I don't know what it is. It's looking okay, yep. but it's starting up the line. On T. On T. You got a sea lion. I'm gonna go to the barber now. I'm gonna go to the
about half an hour. Got big mouths, <laughs> don't you? Like <laughs> Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! <laughs> <laughs> Scared him off. Didn't it? Hi there. Come on in. Only a trim or oh something fancy? Oh my god, fancy yeah, like. look at the state of them. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at that. Oh, that's a bit better. Why don't you stop looking at me? Because you... it's not gonna... Ah! Looking sharper than a tack! That's the apple we love. Please, tell your friend about it. Thanks, Bishop. We got a time on the phone. Oh, they're down, down there. Oh, they're so... Oh, watch your step, all right? Oh no, they're scared. Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. Uh oh. <laughs> Works every time. Hey, <laughs> I mean, you just killed a bunch of kids. He was a witness. I mean, the <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now, that is Move up. Come on. Yeah. I mean, they just run past me. Either you come with us, okay, or we put you in the ground. Easy. Yeah. Damn it, I'm bringing you in by hook or by crook. Very true. <laughs> that literally just came out to me. He was about to run me. Bang! This is what down. you get acting like that. Yeah. I thought, I thought I'd just surrender. To the law. And there, yeah. Hold on, what's Jose doing here? Jose just brought me out of prison. Jose. Oh, you want? Oh, Jose. just broke me out of prison. Oh, Jose. Have a look on the stream. You do the same. How'd you find me? Ain't too many fellers in this town fitting your description. Now go before someone sees you. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I mean, how many fellers are I you know. Doing? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah. All right, Arthur. I don't think you can go back by those slides. I'll like you. Oh. Can you not rewind it? No, I don't think so. No. I'll find it on the stream, eh? 
Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Oh, yeah, Evelyn Unfortunately Miller. so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. Well, the mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago, this will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, I just read my and we have become far weaker, book, Mr. Morgan. The book challenge. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So... You want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? <laughs> I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Eagle Flies at Cornwall, Kerosene and Tower. At some point in the future. I'm going to do a Trelawney mission. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm going to put it now. Oh, how long's your food?
there he is. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Oh, oh you can't boat, play at the tables one. on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yes, no. If you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place, now come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. A very grandfather. good choice, sir. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. It even looks like the heavy like brow look, from all the inbreeding. That drawing looks a bit like Arthur, doesn't it? Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from oh, the oil the fields cards. come to lay it on thick and drunk. Oh, yeah, All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Two minutes. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, oh. very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Oh. Actually, if I get in cut, I'm going to shave him. Oh. He's going to shave my beard off. Make him look like he a might bring trip, the hair down sir. Alan. Is that okay? Yeah. He doesn't look like himself. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have to there, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Come on, Trello, all right? George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, Ooh. look at you, from Toad. Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? Coach? We yeah. can't win yeah. up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Well, if I press pause Which here, I'm stopping straight. No I'm shuffling a mumble. Buff your chest yeah. out. Well, the Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right. I don't know. Say ham. So, who's a mark? Right. We're going to call it there because we've got food in a sec, so we'll see you Nom soon. Noms.